Hello everyone, you are watching the Amazing Facts channel. In today's video, I will talk about seven nuclear icebreaker ships of the USSR. It was in the Soviet Union that nuclear-powered icebreakers first appeared. Nowhere in the world were there ships of this type. In this regard, the Soviet Union had an indisputable advantage over other countries. So here are seven Soviet nuclear icebreakers. Starting off with number seven, the icebreaker Lenin. It was launched on December 5th, 1957. Icebreaker Lenin was the first ship in the world equipped with a nuclear power plant. Its most important differences were a high level of autonomy and power. It is thanks to the high power of the power plant and high autonomy that the ship showed excellent performance, which made it possible to significantly increase the autonomous navigational period. The icebreaker Lenin worked for 30 years and in 1989 was decommissioned and put on eternal parking in Murmansk. Now there is a museum on the icebreaker. Number six, the icebreaker Arctic. This nuclear-powered icebreaker was launched in 1975, and at that time it was the largest of all existing icebreakers. All conditions were created on the vessel, allowing pilots and a helicopter to be based. An interesting difference of this icebreaker was its unusual bright orange color, which personified the new navigation era. This icebreaker was famous for being the first ship to reach the North Pole. In October 2008, the nuclear power plant icebreaker Arctic was shut down. In 2011, the crew of the icebreaker was removed from work and it was put into cold sludge, awaiting disposal. Number 5. Icebreaker Siberia This vessel was a direct continuation of the atomic vessels of the type of the Arctic. The icebreaker was launched in 1977. The vessel was equipped with the latest technology. It operated a satellite communication system that was responsible for telephone communications and navigation. In addition, very comfortable conditions were provided for the crew. A sauna, a swimming pool, a training room, a lounge, a library, and of course, a huge dining room. The nuclear icebreaker Siberia entered the history as the first vessel to navigate year-round in the direction of Murmusk but it also became the second icebreaker that reached the top of the planet, entering the North Pole. Currently, the icebreaker Siberia is in a cold sludge and is fully prepared for disposal. Number four, icebreaker Russia. This unsinkable icebreaker was launched in 1985 and became the first of a series of Arctic nuclear installations with a capacity of 55.1 megawatts, which equals 75,000 horsepower. The crew had everything they could imagine, an internet salon, an area with an aquarium and living vegetation, a chess room, a cinema hall, and everything else that was present at the icebreaker Siberia. With regards to the icebreaker, Russia has one interesting point. It must always be in icy water. This is a necessity for full cooling of the nuclear reactor. Therefore, this icebreaker cannot cross the tropics. Number three. Icebreaker Soviet Union This icebreaker was commissioned in 1990, and the design featured of this icebreaker is that of any time it can be equipped as a combat cruiser. Initially, this vessel was used for Arctic tourism from July 27th to August 16th, 1991. Thanks to this icebreaker, five meteorological ice stations and one American meteorological buoy were installed on the drifting ice. A little later, the icebreaker stationed near Murmusk was used to supply power to facilities located near the coast. Currently, the icebreaker is planned to be restored, but only after a specific customer will be determined or until transit through the sea route will be increased. Number two, icebreaker Yamal. The nuclear powered icebreaker Yamal was created in 1986 in the USSR, but it was launched into the water after the collapse of the Soviet Union. In 1993, its original name was October Revolution, but in 1992, it was renamed Yamal. In 2000, the icebreaker Yamal made an expedition to the North Pole to meet the third millennium. In total, it performed 46 cruises to the North Pole. The icebreaker can prick ice, moving both forward and backward, changing the direction of rotation from full rotation in one direction to full rotation in the other direction, 
it takes only 11 seconds for it. Given that the propeller weighs 50 tons, on the icebreaker Yamal, several emergency situations occurred, among them were a fire, the death of a tourist, and also a collision with an indigo tanker. The icebreaker was not affected during the last state of emergency, which in general is not surprising, but the tanker got a deep crack. Ten years ago, in 2009, the icebreaker Yamal performed a very important mission. It evacuated archaeologists from the Novia Zemula archipelago, who reported their own disaster. This icebreaker is considered the most modern and largest of all existing. From the Novia... And finally, number one, icebreaker, 50 years of victory. In 1989, it was created under the name Ural, but since financing was not enough, it stood unfinished until 2003. And only since 2007, the vessel could be exploited. During the first test, the nuclear icebreaker, 50 years of victory, demonstrated reliability, maneuverability, as well as a top speed of 21.4 knots. The ship's passengers have everything they could imagine. A music room, a library, a swimming pool, a sauna, a gym, a restaurant, satellite TV. The main task assigned to the icebreaker is to guide caravans in the Arctic seas, but the ship is also intended for Arctic cruises. Atomic Icebreaker is really impressive for its power, autonomy, and functionality. I hope you've enjoyed learning about these amazing nuclear icebreakers of the USSR. Be sure to leave us a comment down below, give us a thumbs up if you liked the video, and don't forget to subscribe to the Amazing Facts channel for fascinating videos. Thanks for watching.